Hello, all is Sharon. I'm back with what is going in our Christmas Eve basket box. You can use a box, a basket, anything you like. So I have this basket from Dollaram. I have some like strings there that I'll, I won't be wrapping this or anything. I'll just probably tie one of the strings around this and around the other items. This basket is uh, really nice. It does have handles, so it's easy to carry. And it's got this nice kind of sweater kind of print on it and this comes from dollarama it is by plastico there's your sizing and it's four dollars and fifty cents so i'll be putting most of the items in this basket i'm going to start off with items from dollarama so all our gifts tend to have an item that is a treat something to do something to wear something to read and something you want and need so that's the way i kind of do it so um this is the Sour Straps. They're $1.25 at the Dollarama. So I'll be sharing this treat. I have one of these lights. This is the Tech One light. And I have the batteries by Panasonic. Because the light does require AAA batteries. The Panasonic batteries are $2. And I, I think this was $5. It could have been 4 I could be wrong. But it does come with the converter and all those fun colors. So Nate absolutely loves these kind of lights. So I got him one and I got my niece one. I picked up also some fuzzy socks for us to wear. These are $2 each. His are the green ones. And uh, children size 10 to 13. They say they're ultra soft socks. These are 95% polyester and 5% spandex. And then mine are, again, the ultra soft uh, crew socks with the red, white, and green. And the same materials, I believe, yes. So yeah, nice cozy socks for us to wear. <laughs> now, this next item, I'm putting it in the Christmas Eve box because we need this. Uh, now that we have the new TV, it's in my room, which is technically the living room because we live in a one-bedroom apartment. So when Nate is watching TV, he's usually lying in my bed um, doing that. And then he has like Pringles or something and there's crumbs everywhere so somebody gave me a suggestion to cover it with a tablecloth so that's going in our Christmas Eve box so we definitely need this that way if he's eating something it can all go on this and then I could just shake it off into our compost at the end of the night but uh this is by D Maison it is three dollars and fifty cents it's just a clear vinyl one and I'm just there's all your sizing information so yeah this will be perfect when we're watching a movie or a show and help with uh messes Something fun is this dollar fifty cent uh, glow stick. This lasts for six hours. Glow wand, and it's the green color one with the little Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. So he'll love this item. We love doing glow parties, so I love getting glow sticks. Seriously, Dollarama had some amazing toys and games this year. I just, I absolutely love it. I think it's absolutely fantastic, the finds that they had. So this is really good. This is by Montoy. It's a hockey set. It was $5. So it has the elastics, and you just shoot the, you know, your little puck. Here's what it comes with. So yeah, I thought that'd be a fun game to play on Christmas Eve. I also picked up this game. This was also $5. This is like the Penguin in Danger by Montoy. So this is the one where you got to kind of protect the penguin from falling in by knocking out the blocks and you don't want to knock that penguin in. So it has the spinner, the two hammers. I'll show you the other side. It tells you what the rules are for the spinner. So yeah, this looks really fun. Uh, for January, our theme is the Ice Age, but he also wants to do the North and South Pole with polar bears and penguins. But yeah, we can play this on Christmas Eve and then save it for next month's uh, homeschool. So here's all that's included. But yeah, absolutely fantastic games, the Dollarama. So I've kind of already shared this item before, but I have the sleep pants from last year. With, I guess that's the buffalo check with the gingerbread people on it. And then that came from giant tiger and then this year at giant tiger i got these eight dollar t-shirt and i chose the extra large size because i like baggy shirts for our pajamas so this has the gingerbread people on as well trees presents snowflakes so they don't really match but they can go together for some cozy pajamas some snack items i got these little pretzel things this is a spicy dill pickle flavor these were dollar fifty at the Dollar Tree, so the bag size is 
56 grams. Now, these are very expensive. Um, <laughs> Nate loves the sour cream Pringles. He wanted this one with the Pringle guy dressed up like an elf. This is his favorite flavor. This is the, the 150 six grams now these retail for five dollars at the shoppers drug mark i bought this one at the end of november so i got it on sale for half price which i only paid 250 so that was good and uh he loves pringles so he'll have a special can of pringles but yeah that's gonna be his little treat i also did pick him up like four of the three dollars and 25 cent ones at the dollarama because he absolutely loves them and they're larger cans Nate loves bath bombs. These are five dollars. They are apple and uh, grape scented. So you have like the pinkish purple one and the green one. This is something new. These are the Nickelodeon slime ones. It says turns water into slime. So bath bombs are great. They're always great for that cause and effect. What's going to happen, especially with these ones, because we haven't had them. So we'll see what it does in the bath water. So yeah, I'll get them to take a bath and then we'll sit down and watch our Christmas movie. <laughs> The last items I have to share with you all came from Amazon. So this item and the next item I'm going to show you were supposed to be here at the end of November. And then for three days in a row, there was a delivery error. I can't send packages to my house because they'll get stolen. I live on the main street. So I send them to lockers and they kept on telling me undeliverable. So finally, the Amazon didn't call me. I called them and they said that somebody had smashed into the lockers <laughs> and they that's why they couldn't access them. So I had to wait and then of course they weren't available these two items. So I finally got them. I'm super happy. That's why I didn't show this in the Minecraft uh, gifts that I'm giving my son. But he's been into cards lately and he's obsessed with Minecraft. He might not understand the Uno yet. But we can just play like a standard like go fish with these as well. Take out like these cards. But these were $10. But I know he'll like them. Plus they're great for you know to break up our homeschool day. So yeah, fun little cards and, you know, a new game for him to learn is always good. So this is the other item. Now this retails for $40. I wanted this item at the beginning of December because I wanted to add it to his STEM work box. Because typically we put Lego in there, but I want something different. I thought this is perfect. He can make little gingerbread houses out of this. But it didn't come until uh, yesterday. So this is the learning resources candy construction so you get all these fun pieces that look like candy there's 92 pieces this is for ages four and up these are all the fun pieces you get so yeah we'll have a lot of fun i might even um do this like first thing early um morning of christmas eve and then we can make fun little gingerbread houses like this out of them but yeah this is a great stem thing critical thinking trying to make these pieces work together and build different things i can give them little like you know build me a car and see if he can do it but yeah i'm super happy that i finally have this item i used to work at a daycare and the children absolutely love this it's a really good toy to have and uh, worth the money and i totally forgot to show this when i did the minecraft video but this is not really a Minecraft product, but Nate loves the axolotls that are in Minecraft. So this was $13 on Amazon. And of course, I chose the green one. It comes in some other colors. Uh, there's also a really adorable pink one. So it's an ultra soft, super cute axolotl. It does have this that you can hang it up and suction cup it. So if you want to hang it off maybe a window or something. But yeah, super adorable. I know Nate's going to love that. And this will be perfect to, uh, for the Christmas Eve box because then... You know, I can tell him, okay, get your axolotl, fall asleep, Santa's coming soon. So, yeah, he'll be good for that. I'll insert the picture of what this actually looks like, but it's like the Grinch's hand with the Christmas tree. And this is in the kids' size 6 to 7 T. And it comes with the, I guess, green buffalo check pants. So, fun pajamas for him to wear. He loves the Grinch uh, movies. So, yeah, these will be his fun pajamas to wear. I don't think I mentioned this, but they are um, they run anywhere between, um, I can't remember exactly the price, but anywhere from $15 to $30, because you can also get these in adult sizes as well. I just already had the gingerbread one, so yeah, there's uh, you can have like a fun 
family all dressed up in the same um, pajamas, so I thought that was fun. Maybe I'll get a pair for myself next year. Another, like, this is just fun to read. This is the I Spy Santa Claus by Scholastic. This was on there for $3. So just something fun to look at on Christmas Eve. It's got, like, all, um, like this. So, um, tells you what you're looking for, and then you can find it. There's the sled with Santa. You just find it in the image. So, yeah, just something fun for us to do. And the last item I have to share with you all was $11. And I'm super happy to have this item. Nate has never seen the Home Alone movies. I think now that he's almost turning 7, I think he'll understand them a little bit better. He might still be a little afraid, but we've never seen them. Well, he's never seen them. I have. But this is the first two classic ones. So, yeah, this is what we'll be watching on Christmas Eve. So, thanks a lot for watching this video, and I will talk to you in my next one. Take care, and bye for now.